It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hertog Jean and it's a bottle of their Weisener coming in at 5.7% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. There's a look at it. There's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass. See what we said. Did I say 5.7% ABV? If I didn't then I have now. Um, thank you very much to Nick in the Netherlands for sending me this beer. Whoa, loads of carbonation. You can really smell that banana and clove as well from this distance. Here we go. So very important if you're new to Weizen, get most of the beer in the glass, leave about an inch in the bottom of the bottle, give it a good whiz round, get it into the into the glass. The reason being, I mean, if you if you if you're old school beer, been following the channel for years, do excuse me, but we've had we've had loads of new people coming towards the channel, checking us out recently. So I just wanted to make pe new people aware that um, yeah, these beers are generally yeast forward, so the flavours are coming from the yeast. So it's very important that the sediment in the bottom of, of the bottle makes its way into the beer. So we've got a two finger white head, lovely carbonation, look at that lovely carbonation going on in the glass. Uh, it's a hazy straw coloured beer. It, 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 it's definitely looking like a, a cloudy visor. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells lovely. Banana, clove. A spicy pepperiness coming through. I love it. One of my favourite styles of beer is a Weizen. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Beautiful beer. Beautiful, stone the crows, stone the crows, what a fantastic beer. Carbonation, you can see that carbonation there. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I just finished the roast dinner, it's Sunday night, and I'm ready for a beer. I could just, this beer is this good, I could just press stop on the camera walk off and just just go and sit in the chair and just drink this it wouldn't last long it wouldn't last long i just it's just fabulous it's right up my street drinkability is fantastic it's got a lovely creamy mouthfeel i think it's got a little bit more to it than leffe and the reason why i mentioned leffe is because this company's owned, well, they're from the Netherlands, but they're owned by Stella Artois, the company that owns Stella Artois. And of course, Stella, Stella Artois, AB InBev, I should say, also own Leffe, well, Leff. So, I, I'm, I'm just from country to country. I mean, Leffe's brewed in Belgium. This is brewed in the Netherlands. Just wondering how much influence AB InBev have on the two Visons that come from two arms of their company. I think this is a little different. It's a little stronger at 5.7% as well, I think, than, than Leffe, but correct me if I'm wrong. Please comment in the comments box if I've just goofed up there and Leffe is actually 6%. I know Leffe comes in a big 750 milliliter bottle. It's a nice Weizen. Yeah, but this is flying. This is flying down, absolutely flying down. Um, it's just, it's just fantastically smooth, fantastically drinkable, easy going. First beer of the night, first beer of the night. So smashable, so smashable. Little bit of sweetness from the malt, 
Most of the flavours that were coming from the yeast, as I mentioned earlier, a peppery, spicy, clove, banana flavour. A lot of you out there would have drunk in Weizen. An awful lot of you. I mean, you can pick up a cheap Weizen from Lidl or Aldi, um, which, which is fantastic. The Rheinbacher is Aldi's Weizen and the, well, I nearly said Francis Canna then, it's not Francis Canna, it's um, Patronus, the Patronus Vice Beer in Lidl. So if you're looking to try something similar to this and you live in the UK or you live anywhere in Europe, I'm sure, I'm sure they make the Patronus all over Europe, pick up the Patronus Weizen from Lidl or the Rheinbacher uh, Weizen from Aldi. Uh, I mean, or if you live in the Netherlands and this is available, pick this up, it's lovely. So it's all in the language, the Dutch language, so there's not a lot I can read about. Um, but I'm just going to read, I'm just going to give it a rating, I'm just going to rate it. It's, it's, it's a lovely Weizen, lovely example of a Weizen. One that I would highly recommend, really, really good quality beer. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!